you might think the white pencil's on top. Or maybe it's the yellow one, or maybe it's the red one, or is it the blue one? Well, it actually was the yellow one, but why did it look so confusing? Well, the key to this illusion is the special texture on this piece of plastic called a Luber's lens, which manipulates light in an important way that I'll try to show more clearly using lasers and some atmospheric aerosol so you can see the laser more clearly. But first, you need to see the texture of this Luber's lens up close, which I'll show by cutting off a strip of the lens and putting it under a microscope. As you can see, the lens has many small semi-cylindrical bumps, just like this larger curved piece of acrylic. When I shine a laser through this curved piece of plastic, the light refracts, and the path of light that makes it to the wall is different depending on the angle it enters and exits the acrylic. Overlaying this a few times at different points along the curved surface, and you see that the lasers all converge to a point, and then spread out beyond that. That's the most important thing to understand about these clear curved bumps. They cause light that hits it to spread out according to which way the bumps are facing. That's for a single point of light, but now let's do it with the laser line like this. If the bumps on the lens are oriented such that it stretches light vertically, a vertical laser line won't change that much because you're just stretching a vertical line even more in that same direction. This scenario is exactly what's happening when a long skinny object like this pencil is stretched in the same way it's laying. It still looks roughly like a pencil, just more stretched out, and you'll lose the ability to read small details on the pencil because of this stretching. However, if instead you change the direction of the Luber's lens so that it's stretching light horizontally, now the same vertical laser line stretched horizontally looks quite different. The line is much wider, and the spreading out of this light makes it more dim. Likewise, with the pencil at the right distance, the pencil is stretched out so wide that the color appears to be much more faint, and it gets to the point where you can no longer really see it, and it's basically invisible. Normally when you stack pencils, it's easy to tell which one's on top because it's blocking the others. But by stretching that pencil in the same direction, it spreads the color of that pencil to close the gap from your perspective. Combined with the fact that the other pencils are facing different directions and are therefore being stretched to the point you can no longer see them, and 